Today we're going to be making a graham cracker filled pie crust with lemon meringue. Now, everything that you need, you need to go ahead and have it set up. I got a little recipe here from ReluctantRecipes.com and I'm going to be doing it my own way. <laughs> Welcome to the show. As you know, this is Valley Girl Cooking Time with Saterica. Today we're going to be making a very lovely recipe that I like to call Lemon Pie Meringue. First it says you need to prepare everything that you need. So I've got my graham crackers from Nabisco. Thank you. Also need four eggs. Well actually on here it says I only need two eggs, but I'm going to use four. So anyways, I'm going to add my special little secret recipe, peanut butter. I'm going to show you how we're going to do that later. Also, we're going to have strawberries, strawberry syrup, which you know the couples love to use. And why not put it in your pie, get nasty with it, get filthy with it, get a little dirty. Why not? But keep your kitchen clean. Okay. And also, you know, we're making a pie and we don't want it to be too fattening. So we're going to add a little salt to cut some of that fat out. Well, you're going to get a little water from it too, but that's okay. Okay, so first what we're going to do is preheat the oven to 325 degrees. Well, you know what? Let's take it up a notch. 450. <laughs> All right, first thing I'm going to do is break open an egg. I want to show you a cool little trick I know what to do. This is how you take a yolk out of an egg. Wait a second, watch this. Check it out. Wait, oh. Wait, oh, <laughs> wait a second. That wasn't supposed to happen. I actually really do know how to take it out, but you caught me at a bad moment. Hold on, let me try to get this out, wait. Okay, screw it. Let's start with the graham cracker crust since we had so much problem with the egg. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scramble it all in the graham cracker crust. You can just do the whole pie like in the crust. You know what I'm saying? You can just like break the egg down. I'm gonna let the yolk fall in this time since I had problems last time. And then I'm going to add some sugar. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just put the whole thing out. Got to get my recipe out of the way. It says that I'm going to need to stir it with a fork, but I think I'm going to try to do it with a knife because I can actually just go ahead and cut the pie pieces before I even bake it. I could just like have it cut, you know, when I put the filling in there. It's going to be really great. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, let me mix this out. You know what? You can just crunch all of that in there. We don't need no crust. Who need a crust? We don't need no crust for this pie. Okay, just keep going. Fuck it. Oh, I want to keep some of the crust in there, though. Don't that look good? Oh, my gosh. I could just eat this already right now. This looks like so delicious. I'm going to need to get some of this lemon filling in here. You didn't know I could do that, did you? <laughs> you didn't know that I could do that. That's what we do here. Okay, this is Valley Girl TV. Sometimes you got to do things the way a blonde girl would do it. Why not? That's how you open it up. Open this up. Okay. okay. Let's see. And I can just get it open. And if I can get it open, like, enough, you could just stick, like, a spoon in there and, like, get it out. I'm serious. I hope you're doing this with me at home because this is very important. This is like cooking 101. If you don't know how to do something like this, you probably shouldn't be in a kitchen. Seriously. Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, I almost cut myself. I'm all right. Wait a second. Bam. Okay, bam, what did I tell ya? This is the lemon filling. You know what? This looks so good. Why not just add peanut butter in it too? Bam. A couple of scoops of peanut butter. Now I'm telling you, this is not the traditional pie. Not everybody can make a pie quite like this. You can, you know, have a party and make your pie. You know, when you have Thanksgiving or Christmas, you can make this pie. Okay? Just mix all of that together. See that? Lemon and peanut butter actually do go together. Yeah. That looks so good. Oh, 
That smells so good. I wish you were here. Oh my gosh. If you're cooking this with me, you know that your kitchen smells so marvelous right now. Now don't forget you got the oven actually like preheating right now, which is good. It's going to get really hot. It's going to melt the peanut butter and the lemon. And, and feel free to add, you know, do it how you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? If you want more lemon, put more lemon in there. Why not? You know what? I'm going to put some. I'm living dangerously. You better stop. <laughs> you better stop, boy. You don't know nothing about this lemon. It's that lemon right there. Wow. Okay. Mix it up. Mix it on up. Now see, once you get all of this together. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot. I almost forgot the salt. You better stop. And just sprinkle it on liberty. You know, liberate. You know what? Why am I even trying to say that word? I need to stop for real. Okay. Mix that on up. And you're ready. You're ready. This is all you need to do to get everything together. You can add some more graham cracker, but you know what? I switched it up. I was going to put some graham cracker. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I am so happy I hit that bow. Do, 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 do. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that looks so freaking good. Okay, but anyway, that's the finishing touches. So we're going to get this into the oven at 450 degrees because I went up on it. All right. And now our pie should probably be done, so we're gonna check in on it, see what it's looking like. Bring it on in, bring it on in, bam! That's what I'm talking about. That's that like good stuff. Oh my goodness, do you see that? Oh. Now you see how you mixed up that pie crust in there, so you got a nice golden brown along top. That Smucker's scissor is banging in there. That's that strawberry. You can get a little bit of the tanginess. <laughs> Don't forget your secret ingredient, peanut butter. Very, very important. And the salt. Shh, don't tell nobody. That's going to give that strawberry syrup an extra little tang. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> so you want to just let that cool for about 15, 20 minutes. I'm telling you, it smells like Thanksgiving in here. Rancho Ray would be proud. <laughs> We're making pie today. <laughs> making some pie today. We're just gonna hook up the plate. We wanna decorate it. So I'm gonna put little balls of the pie. I'm gonna put it actually around the pie and then we're gonna hit it with some Hershey syrup because don't forget we got our strawberry syrup up in there every time you say syrup you got to say scissor okay because this is not regular stuff this is the stuff that you know people get freaky to you know and after the holidays you have some good pie why not get freaky you know do it okay so we're gonna put our last little ball of fun wait a second okay there we go put the last little bit on there and give you a little bottle of shake Oh, mm. see that was nasty, wasn't it? <laughs> Bow. We're just gonna hook that on up right there. Bow. Do you hear me? Okay. Stop. Oh, oh, and just for the kicker, cause don't forget, sweet and tangy is good. Sweet and sour sauce. Do you get it? Everything that's sweet comes with something that's tangy, sour. So we're gonna add a little bit more salt on top. Bow. Hit it with the mortar. Mm -hmm. You can even see like the little white specks in there. Looks like it's snowing. Okay, well maybe not, but you know. You get the idea of what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> then we can even hit it with a little bit more strawberry syrup just to, you know when they say the icing on the top, that's what they mean, the strawberry syrup. Bow. Oh. I'm through, bro. <laughs> <laughs>